Hello everyone, welcome to our subject, the science, technology, and society. So, uh, this video is a part one of chapter one, which is the historical antecedents in the course of science and technology. So, in this chapter, uh, this will be the topic, ancient times, middle ages, modern times, and Philippine inventions. So before I proceed, I want you to prepare your notes so that you will be able to take down our important words in this discussion. So after this chapter, you will be able to explain how science and technology affected society and the environment and vice versa. Then identify inventions and discoveries that changed the world over the course of history and discuss the scientific technological development in the Philippines. Now let's discuss first the ancient times. So the people were concerned with transportation at those times and navigation, communication and record keeping, mass production, security and protection, as well as health, aesthetics and architecture. Transportation was significant during that time because people were trying to go places and discover new horizons. They traveled to search for food and find better locations for their settlements. They also traveled to trade their surplus or surplus goods in exchange for this or for things that they lacked. Navigation assisted them in their journeys to unfamiliar and strange areas in the world. It allowed them to return home after they discovered new places or completed an important trade with another group of people. Now, another important thing in those times were communication. So it was also essential in their, in their endeavors to discover and occupy new places. They needed a way to communicate with the na natives of the areas they visited so as to facilitate trade and prevent possible conflicts. Record keeping was also important since they needed to remember the places they had been to and document the trade they made with each other. It was also vital to keep records of their history and culture so they could establish their identities as they tried to relate with other cultures and civilization. So the increase in size and numbers of nations promoted increased demands for food and other basic necessities. Now, this condition also implied that people must be able to produce food at a given time and space since resources were getting scarcer as more people struggled, struggled to share the basic necessities. Now, the people thus needed a form of technology that would enable them to increase food supplies and other survival needs without them traveling more or working harder. Now let's proceed to the weapons and armors. So weapons and armors were also important as well as in the discovery of new places or the establishment of new alliances with other tribes. At that time, there was always a risk of conflict when people met others with different culture and orientations. Conflicts were common, especially if different groups struggled to control vital resources. Stronger nations tended to invade weaker ones so they could take much needed resources. So as such, the development of weapons and armors for security and protection was considered a major achievement. A primary challenge they faced was the conservation of life. The early people might have been successful in harnessing the rich resources that the world could provide, but their survival posed a great problem. Different illnesses and diseases, both natural and man-made, hampered the full potential of a human being. Given this predicament, science and technology played a major role in the discovery of cures to, if not, the prevention of illnesses. Moreover, in order to integrate their needs for better transport, transportation, establishment of structures for protection from human attacks and natural disasters 
and construction of bigger and stronger infrastructures. Now, people ventured into what is now known as the field of engineering. So the development in this field allowed humans to build structures that would address their specific needs and wants. Some of the structures built during the ancient times still exist today and continually owe people. The development in engineering also ushered in the introduction of architecture. Others might see architecture as a mere style, but during the ancient times, elaborate architectural designs were signs of technological advancement of a particular civilization. In the generations to come, architecture would be considered a status symbol among nations of how advanced their technology is. It may also establish the identity of a nation. So the people were not contented on beautifying only their infrastructures and surroundings. Being able to pro prolong life with the mass production of food and advancement of medical technology as well as raise the quality of life by making complicated and difficult tasks easier, humans uh, later on developed the technology to improve how they look. They discovered that people look more visually presentable and appealing by adding some features and decorations in their body. With all this in mind, one can conclude that the developments in science and technology aside from affecting the lives of the people were the results of many prior antecedents. So out of necessity, people in ancient times were able to discover and invent things that would impact the lives of the modern people. So this is the end of part one of this chapter. So if you have any questions, you can post it in our uh, Facebook group chat. Have a good day, everyone.